AITA for getting a car towed just a few minutes after it parked in my mom's parking spot. I. 19 M. Live with my parents in a small neighborhood with a few condos attached to the row I'm in. We rent out two spots for both of our vehicles. One day, as my dad was at work and mom was out grocery shopping, I saw a guy parking his car in our spot. I waited a bit, maybe he was just making a one-minute pit stop, but he was still away after about five minutes, and there were a few visitor parking spots available so I was baffled why he decided to steal ours. I decided to call for a tow truck and then they came about 34 minutes later. I live near a tow truck lot. As the tow truck driver was hooking the car up, the guy came out and saw it. He immediately got into an argument with the tow truck driver and was saying he was only like 10 minutes. Quote dot. My mom got home about half an hour later. And I forgot to mention to her what happened. But 10 minutes after she returned, the guy that stole our spot came to our house and argued with me and mom, saying he was only gonna be there for five more minutes. It got heated, but he eventually walked away. Still pissed off. AITA? NTA. It's always only been 10 minutes and they were going to move it in five minutes. That's up there with the check being in the mail for most overplayed lies on the planet. There were alternative visitor spots available. He chose to park in a reserved one. Which even if the visitor spots were all filled, he shouldn't park in a reserved spot. If you chose to park where your parking can result in you getting ticketed and or towed, you have only yourself to blame for it. NTA you couldn't know if he was going to be 5 minutes or 5 hours. It wasn't his spot, and he had no right to park there for any length of time. NTA. Obviously they knew it was designated parking that belonged to your household or else they wouldn't have come to your door. NTA. Assuming the spot was clearly marked as reserved. Whoever parks there without permission does so at their own risk. NTA. Your parent pay for those spots. They are presumably clearly marked. Why should your parents park elsewhere just to accommodate some entitled idiot? And why should you have to sit around with a timer deciding how long he gets to park there before? You are allowed to enforce the clearly posted rules? It's your property. You have every right to enforce your interest in it. NTA. You pay for the spot. What if your mom came home sooner and had to run in and use the bathroom? Nope. This was not an open parking spot for him to take. This guy comes to the house again be like we pay for the spot. Say it as loud and as many times as you need to for him. It's not cool taking some else's spot. In Ta. The guy who parked in your spot was Ta. How could you know how long he was gonna be there? Aren't there visitor spots? NTA. How long he intended to be there is irrelevant if you don't know. He didn't leave a note did he? NTA. Don't park in other people's parking spots. Plain and simple. NTA. And if you watch Tow Trucker on YouTube you'll see how many people were, just gonna be 10 minutes. NTA. The guy was dumb for parking tear. NTA I guarantee you he was lying through his teeth about only planning to be there 5 minutes. But even if he wasn't, that spot wasn't available for him to use. He couldn't park on the sidewalk or on someone's lawn for 5 minutes. And this is no different. NTA and let me tell you about the guy that I let use my phone. At work. On the regular to report non-handicapped cars parking in the handicapped zones? I must have been prescient as I now have a handicapped placard. People who are just gonna be a minute, are the total laws of the world. ITT lots of people who think they're entitled to park wherever they want as long as it's for 5 minutes or less. WTF?
NTA. My husband and I live in an apartment complex with assigned parking spaces. We have to keep a sticker on our vehicle to keep it from being towed. If we don't have that sticker and the vehicle isn't on file at the office then they will tow. They even tow any vehicle that is not supposed to be parked in assigned parking no matter how long. It's been there. We get flyers every month from the office reminding us to use the parking spaces and to call the office to have people towed if people are in our spot. We don't even have that many visity parking spaces either so if a visitor comes by and there isn't available parking then they can't park within the complex. You have every right to call them. He can be mad all he wants to but rules are rules. My husband has had to call the office a couple of times for the same issue. Neither of us feel bad for it because again, they should know not to park there. NTA. The spot doesn't belong to them. So they got towed. And they'll get towed the next time. And the time after that. Rondo. Not St. A. Long. Only 5 minutes. Why you tow me off her property? Don't worry. The towing company will change you, only. Like $500 to get your car back. NTA. Don't park in other people's spot. 10 minutes or not. You pay for the spot. He doesn't. Play stupid games win stupid prizes. NTA if he knew what condo to come to in order to complain. He knew which one to come ask permission to use the spot for a short time. As someone else mentioned, he fafo. NTA. It's your spot he has no rights to park there. Period. I'm biased as I has my parking spot changed because people were forever parking in it and management won't let us call for a tow. Some entitled B parked when she was moving in and two of her friends also parked. She was in my spot and even though there was a sign threatening she'd be towed in my spot and the two others. When she came or I yelled at her and she said she was moving in. She had a spot, but not as convenient and felt entitled even though she and her friends took up three spots but are so much more important than the people who pay for them. NTA. He fafo. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.